2023 marks another chapter in the story of the world's economic landscape. The global stage showcases a dazzling array of wealth and prosperity, with each nation painting its unique portrait of affluence. From the microscopic yet mighty San Marino to the economic juggernaut that is the United States, these top 10 richest countries are a testament to the diverse pathways to financial success. Oil-driven prosperity, resilient banking sectors, and shrewd economic policies all play their part. Join us as we embark on a journey to explore the wealthiest nations in the world, each offering its distinctive recipe for economic triumph. Welcome to the channel, subscribe, and let's dive in. Number 10. San Marino. San Marino might be one of the tiniest countries in Europe, but it packs a punch when it comes to wealth. With just around 34,000 residents, it's surprising to find it among the world's wealthiest nations. The secret to its prosperity lies in its exceptionally low income tax rates, which are about one-third of the European Union's average. While its population is small, San Marino's financial stability is not to be underestimated. In a world where high taxes can burden citizens, this microstate offers an attractive alternative. Despite its size and limited population, San Marino has managed to weather economic storms effectively. Even during the challenging times brought about by the pandemic and energy crises, its tourism sector and manufacturing industry showed remarkable resilience. Number 9. United States. The United States, despite its size and wealth, has consistently ranked among the top 10 wealthiest countries globally. The country's resilience in the face of economic challenges has been impressive, with the U.S. experiencing its shortest recorded recession in two months due to substantial government spending on stimulus checks, increased food stamp benefits, and expanded Medicaid enrollment. Despite the highest inflation rate in 40 years and economic turbulence, the American job market has managed to recover significantly, making it a significant player in the global wealth ranking. Number 8. Norway. Norway's oil industry, which began in the late 1960s, has been a significant source of wealth for the country. However, in 2020, oil prices plummeted, leading to a 6.3% GDP decline. Despite this, Norway's economy showed resilience, with a growth rate of almost 3.9% in 2021 and 3.3% in 2022. The country's $1.3 trillion sovereign wealth fund further strengthens its economic strength. Despite this, Norway maintains a relatively small income inequality gap compared to other wealthy nations, highlighting the country's resilience in the face of economic challenges. Number 7. Switzerland. Switzerland is renowned for its inventions, including white chocolate, the Swiss army knife, Velcro, and even LSD. This country of around 8.7 million residents boasts a diverse economy built on banking and insurance services, tourism, and the export of pharmaceutical products, gems, precious metals, precision instruments, particularly watches, and machinery, such as medical devices and computers. In 2022, Switzerland was once again recognized as the country with the highest mean average wealth per adult, standing at an impressive $700,000. Switzerland's wealth extends to its population, with approximately one in six adults possessing assets exceeding one million US dollars. This country boasts the highest density of millionaires globally, and its financial services sector has long been a cornerstone of its prosperity. However, Switzerland has not been immune to the challenges posed by COVID-19. The pandemic resulted in a 2.5% decline in production in 2020. Yet, Switzerland fared better than many neighboring countries due to its swift policy response, competitive export industries, and robust public and household finances. However, recent troubles in its banking sector, including the near collapse of Credit Suisse, have created concerns about its status as a secure and dependable global banking center. Number 6. United Arab Emirates. The United Arab Emirates, UAE, is a nation of contrasts. It has transitioned from an economy based on agriculture, fishing, and pearl trading to one driven by the discovery of oil in the 1950s. Today, the UAE's population is a diverse and cosmopolitan mix of people drawn by the allure of tax-free incomes and year-round sunshine. Only around 20% of the UAE's residents are locally born, and expatriates make up the majority. While the UAE's economy remains closely linked to the oil and gas sector, it has also diversified its economic landscape. In addition to hydrocarbons, the nation thrives in tourism, construction, trade, and finance. 
However, the COVID-19 pandemic and the resultant oil price decline temporarily pushed the UAE out of the list of the world's wealthiest countries. But as energy prices rebounded, the UAE quickly regained its position among the top 10 richest nations, a testament to its resilience. Number 5. Macau SAR. Macau, often referred to as the Las Vegas of Asia, experienced rapid economic growth in recent years. This special administrative region of China liberalized its gaming industry in 2001, transforming it into a thriving entertainment hub with over 40 casinos across a small territory of around 30 square kilometers. With a population of roughly 700,000, Macau's economic surge was remarkable. However, the COVID-19 pandemic brought tourism to a standstill, causing Macau to briefly drop from the list of the world's top 10 wealthiest countries. After more than three years since the pandemic's onset, Macau is gradually recovering. Yet, its per capita purchasing power has declined significantly, dropping from approximately $125,000 in 2019 to a current level of just over $89,000. Number 4. Qatar. Qatar's wealth has long been linked to its vast reserves of oil, gas, and petrochemicals. Although oil prices have experienced fluctuations, Qatar's small population of just 3 million has enabled the country to maintain its status as one of the world's richest nations. Despite the challenges posed by the pandemic, which saw the rapid spread of COVID-19 among low-income migrant workers, Qatar demonstrated economic resilience. In 2020, the country's economy contracted by a relatively modest 3.5%. Subsequently, it experienced growth of around 1.5% in 2021 and 4.2% in 2022. The recovery was fueled by increased revenues from gas and oil, along with the arrival of tourists for events like the World Cup. Number 3. Singapore. Singapore's wealth is evident in its high number of ultra-high net worth individuals, including founders of medical equipment firm Mindray and property developers Robert and Philip Ng. The nation's tax-friendly policies, including tax-free capital gains and dividends, attracted individuals like Eduardo Saverin, co-founder of Facebook, who chose to make Singapore his permanent residence. Singapore's journey to prosperity began with half of its population being illiterate and limited natural resources. Despite being a global financial center, Singapore experienced its first recession in over a decade in 2020. A rebound in 2021 saw 8.8% growth, but challenges related to China's slowdown led to a contraction of the manufacturing sector and a projected economic growth of only 1.5% in 2023. Number 2. Luxembourg. Luxembourg, a European nation with a population of 650,000, offers a high standard of living with a focus on housing, healthcare, and education. Despite the global financial crisis and pressures to reduce banking secrecy, Luxembourg managed to weather the COVID-19 pandemic better than many European neighbors. After a minus 0.8% decline in GDP in 2020, it rebounded with 5.1% growth in 2021. However, economic growth slowed to 1.5% in 2022 and is projected to reach 1.1% in the current year due to lower business and consumer confidence and increased energy and food prices. Number 1. Ireland. Ireland, with a population of just 5 million, has been a fascinating success story. The country faced significant challenges during the 2008 financial crisis but managed to recover through comprehensive reforms, including public sector wage cuts and banking industry restructuring. As a result, Ireland experienced substantial economic growth, lower unemployment rates, and a surge in per capita GDP. However, it's essential to consider the context. Ireland has become a corporate tax haven, attracting multinational companies like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Meta, and Pfizer due to its low corporate tax rate of 12.5%. These firms accounted for about 56% of the total value added to the Irish economy in 2022. While Irish families have seen improvements, the national household per capita disposable income is slightly below the overall EU average. A considerable wealth gap persists, with the top 20% of the population earning nearly five times more than the bottom 20%. Thank you for watching. Follow for more.